Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started with today's video, I wanna give a huge thanks to Ritz Crackers for sponsoring today's video. Guys, as soon as I say Ritz Crackers, literally a rush of memories just run through my brain because it's been a part of my life for such a long time now. I can say decades now because I'm, I'm gonna be 31 in January. And guys, Ritz Crackers has literally always been such a go-to snack in our family household. So for me to be sitting here saying thank you Ritz for sponsoring today's video is just so, so surreal. And I'm just so happy. Like I have so many memories with Ritz. I feel like Ritz is just a go-to snack for all different types of families, especially during the holiday season. I feel like now that the holidays are coming up, I feel like this is, you can literally create anything with Ritz crackers and it always ends up tasting so, so good. One of my favorite holiday traditions is always being at the dinner table. And before my mom always served as the actual dish, she would always, always put Ritz crackers in the middle and then she would put a little board like this and we would have cheese, ham, avocado, and then chili. If you know me, I put chili on almost anything. So I'd always put like a little sandwich, make little sandwiches and then, um, she would also put bananas with Nutella, and then if you put the Nutella on the Ritz crackers, which I'll do it right now, and then you put banana on it, thank me later, guys. It is such a good holiday snack. Like, you guys will be obsessed with it. And I just have so many memories of Ritz crackers, like, during the holiday season, like, for any event you can think of. I feel like Ritz crackers has always been involved. And if you go to any house in our family, there's always, always going to be a Ritz crackers. And now that I have kids, guys, I feel like it's so important to create memories like this. And I feel like as you're growing up, you don't realize how important these memories are until you grow up. So as soon as I even get emotional, just even saying Ritz, because it's just as soon as I say Ritz, I just remember me and my family, and my brothers at the dinner table, always, always, oh my God. <laughs> but you get the point. Like, it's just, I just, I don't know, Ritz has been a part of my life for such a long time now and I'm just so, so thankful. One of my favorite holiday meals has always been during Thanksgiving because you can do the turkey, you can do the mashed potatoes and I always have memories of my brothers literally dipping the Ritz crackers and the mashed potatoes every single time. Like I told you guys earlier, I feel like Ritz, you can literally pair it with almost anything and it always, always ends up tasting good. For me, my favorite way to serve Ritz during the holidays has always been a little bit of banana, a little bit of Nutella because I feel like everyone likes banana. I feel like every, everyone likes Nutella. If you guys have not tried this at home, guys, please try it at home and let me know how it goes because I feel like everyone has Ritz in their pantry and if you guys have Nutella and banana please try it out let me know in the comments how you guys like it because that's one of my favorite ways to eat Ritz crackers during the holidays and the reason why I love Ritz is because it could be a part of any culture guys in my family household we would always have a little cracker con some jamón and some cheese so cheese you put a little um artapatillo and then like that Guys, if you guys haven't tried this at home, please try it out because it literally tastes so, so good. Mm. Just biting into this, I could literally go back in time. <laughs> oh, another one. Again, some a cracker, some jamón, some tapatio, some cheese. Oh, that cracker, a rich cracker. You guys see that? If anyone wants to invite me to their family gatherings, I would literally bring just Ritz crackers, three boxes of them, because they go by fast. Like you can literally sit there. I could sit at a couch and eat almost a whole bag of Ritz crackers in one sitting because they're just so, so delicious. And I don't know, I just feel like I can eat them so, so fast. But if I was to go to a family gathering, I feel like I would definitely bring Ritz crackers, some Nutella and some banana. Y listo. Listo pal party, porque this is literally the best snack ever. If you guys have not tried it at home, please try it out. So it is an Ritz cracker, some Nutella, and then a banana, and... This is literally the perfect pairing. This might be my favorite pairing of all, for sure. Mm. I'm gonna keep making these guys because these are so so addicting so once you have one I'm so sorry but you will have another one of my favorite memories with Ritz guys while growing up was always taking 
um, Ritz snacks for family gatherings. My mom always knew that me and my brother would always get super hungry and Ritz was always the way to get one of my favorite memories. I could literally picture it in my head right now. Like it was always, we always had one of these, right? And my mom would always cut it in half because you know brothers when you're growing up, like, oh my God, why did he get more? I get more, I want more. Like, you know, like cut it in half. So my mom would always get the scissors, cut it in half and give half to my brother and then half to me. And I don't know, it was just such a fun memory growing up. Like we'd always knew that we had snacks on the go and Ritz has always been a part of it. And I'm just, <laughs> I want to cry thinking about it because honestly guys, Ritz has always been a part of my life. And I don't know, so there's so many memories with Ritz. And now I get to pass them on to my little kids. My little kids, Oakley specifically loves or loves Ritz crackers. Like he always, always eats them. And I don't know, this is so happy. And if you guys have not tried this snack at home, Please try it out because it is so, so delicious. I will apologize though if you have more than one because they're just so addicting. Mm. So bomb. The crunchiness and the banana and then the toilet together. 10 out of 10. Now I'm gonna make a sandwich because I am hungry. Put some chilito. I feel like food makes everyone feel so welcome. Like, I feel like anytime I go to like a house, I feel like when someone says, oh, do you want a thing to drink? Do you want this? Do you want that? It just makes you feel so, so welcomed. So if you have snacks on the counter, please include Ritz in your next family gathering because they're so, so delicious. Now that I showed you guys that, please have it at your family gatherings. I promise you guys will, it will be the snack of the day. And you can also, I had it prepared like this because it's not like a, I'm not having anyone come over, but if you do have people come over, you can make them yourself, all of them, and then just put them together right there. Like put a lot of these like that on a plate and it'll be the best snack at the party. I promise you it will finish. It will be asking you for more. So this season shows how you celebrate with Ritz. Mm. Hello guys, it's time to show you guys one of our family favorite dishes. We have a lot of them, but I feel like we have to show you guys one by one. But every time I post this one on Instagram, it is always, always requested. Are you guys ready? It is the what is it? It's chicken con broccoli y calabacitas. In English, it says chicken, broccoli, and zucchini. Yes, but her mom actually taught. It's a desi de mamá. Yeah, mamá, mamá. Yes, her mom taught her this one. So we're gonna show you guys the ingredients first, but everything will be listed down below with the directions and everything. But let's go. And this one is es el que duras menos estás haciendo la. Like in thirty minutes. Yeah, this one's her. This one, if we know we want to eat really, really fast, we're like, yeah, do this one. Chicken broccoli, chicken broccoli. <laughs> that because she does this one super fast. So lista. Lista. Vámonos. <laughs> and then leave us down below which ones you guys want. If you guys do follow us on Instagram, I'm going to put our Instagrams right here. This is Mama Laura. If, we, if you guys follow her, you know that she's my mom. So yeah, guys, we'll put our Instagrams that you guys can follow us. Because every time I post one on Instagram, you guys are always telling us, like, do this one, do this one. So And she has a lot. So let's go. Everything will be listed down below in English, guys. I know she speaks Spanish more comfortably. So yes. Okay. Y tenemos, yo siempre compro dos paquetes de... Um, Organic chicken. Organic chicken. Yes. El arroz que no tiene que faltar. Yes. Para que se llenen. <laughs> la mantequilla. Yes. La zucchini. Ooh, Yo le echo yes. dos. El broccoli ya es mejor ya comprarlo ya partido para yes. que no tengamos que batallar. Las salsas que es Ooh, el, ese es That's the more important, right? Importante. The most important part. Y a veces nomás es poquitita sal. Sal. No le echen mucho porque yeah. se sala. Y Ajo. Esta ocasión se puede usar aceite o butter, pero a ellos prefieren más la mantequilla. So Lo trato de echar la mitad. Se echa la mitad mm -hmm. y se tiene que calentar el sartén. Se va este, um, ¿cómo se dice? derritiendo. Yes. She did half of one of these and she put it in there and she just lets it melt by itself. And now she's going to cut the chicken. After washing the chicken, she's about to cut it. So let's go. So lo voy a partir en small. Empieza chiquitas uh -huh. para que se cosa más rápido. Porque parece que tienen mucha hambre. Yeah, we're so hungry now, guys. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> and now that the butter is all melted down, she's about to throw the chicken in there. Guys, this food is literally one of my favorites. It is so good and it's healthy, so. Mm. And how long are you going to leave it in there? Probably like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, are you going to stir it? So you're going to mm -hmm. stir? Claro que nice. Sí. Ya que ustedes vean más o menos, es poquito, que no exageren. Es bien poquito, nomás para que el pollo tenga poquito sabor. Yes. Pero casi nada. 
And that was garlic powder that she just added right now. A little bit just to give it a little bit of... <laughs> poquito and then some salt. Poquita sal. sal. Porque ustedes saben que sal es sal. Yeah, ya right. tiene mucha sal. Yeah. Ooh, the chicken yeah. gets done so fast. Look at that. Mm. Mm. So just butter, some salt, and then some garlic mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Pero bien poquito. Yes. Casi nada. Mm. Ahora se queda ahí como 20 minutos like 20 minutes? Se queda okay. So the food is almost done. I brought my brothers here because you guys know we always get together and make food for the family. Well, my mom makes food for my the mom. family. <laughs> and, <Not you. laughs> and while she cooks for us, we literally have always a snack. And always growing up, guys, my mom always, like I told you guys earlier, my mom always had Ritz crackers for us to literally just enjoy just with jamon. And right now I made the little, the one I showed you guys earlier, the Nutella with banana and hominy. And Marcus is the one that would, was able to finish a whole bag of Ritz crackers. The whole yeah, like, thing. Like two bags in like a city. <laughs> yeah, literally. This is always, always a family favorite. So if you guys need a snack while you guys are having dinner, this is a very good one. So I love it very much. <laughs> They're really I, easy to, to, eat. to this day, I still You can eat them by themselves. You can eat them with cheese. With with snack. That's how I used to get when them. When I'm late to anything, I just grab the pile and go. And go. <laughs> or when I'm playing video games, I just have like a whole thing right there by mm -hmm. myself. Oh, like I told you guys earlier, Ritz, just looking at the name, just brings so many memories back. I know, what did I text you? Yeah, he texted me, he's like, hey, can we have a lifetime supply of Ritz now? Because <laughs> this is literally goals, like, this is goals, so... <laughs> now she's going to wash the broccoli, because she's about to put it in, and broccoli, guys, is one of my favorite parts of it, because... It just melts so good into the chicken and the flavor is so good. So le pones broccoli y que más? Y zucchini. Zucchini! That means calabacita, ¿no? <laughs> Calabaza, zucchini, sí, sí. Sí. <laughs> oh, pero mira cómo está el pollo. Dile que tiene que oh, estar yeah. poquito dorado. Make sure the chicken is very dorado. How do you say dorado in English? Ah, uh, fried. Fried. Not very like different. really fried, but... Just like that. Look at the color of it, guys, and you guys can kind of tell what color you guys want it at. And now it's the broccoli. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All she put in, guys, already. So the chicken was melted into the um, garlic sauce, the salt, and then the butter. And now she put in the broccoli. Look how big this one is, so we're gonna cut it because it literally filled the whole pot with just one piece. So let's cut it. So you can cut the broccoli whatever size you guys want it at. And voila! Now she's cutting the zucchini. Ustedes pueden echar el tamaño que ustedes quieran. Yes. Yo les echo así porque no muchos agarran zucchini. So. Not a lot of our family likes zucchini, so that's why she cuts it in big pieces. That way it's easy to like take it out if you don't want it in your plate. But zucchini is literally so, so good. I'm a veggie girl, so that's why all the veggies for me, please. <laughs> Max, the mixing it because you have to mix it while it goes. That way all of it can get nice and toasty. And now that she put everything in, she's going to put a whole bottle of soy sauce. Oh my goodness, I can already smell it, guys. It smells so, so good. And now you just mix it, right? As I can say. Just mix it. Mm hmm Y ya solito basta. Nice. And then we have the rice cooking already. That is so, so My mom's rice is literally the best ever. We usually pair this with rice, and you put the juguito from this on top of this. Oh my god, it's literally the best combination, huh? Max is the cook in our family, too. He's the only one in our family that likes to cook. Like, and that's it, right? Is that That's it, yeah. Ooh! Ten more minutes and ya está listo. Ah, no, you made it look like it's more hard, but it's easy. I can't even do that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, she's gonna cook the next time. Yeah. Yay. Woo! Woo! Yeah, right, boys. Yeah. I wish you guys could taste my mom's arroz. It's literally the best ever. Maybe she'll do another video showing you guys how to make white rice and orange rice because her rice is ten out of ten. Do you guys remember when I made my rice? <laughs> Emma's the only one that liked it. Did you make rice? Si, te acuerdas el rice que hice, estaba bien... Bien rico! Si, bien rico! It was so good. You guys can leave it like toasty. Some people like it very like melted in there. Como se dice? Like bien... Like a while. Bien blandito. Bien blandito. And some people like it harder. So, yeah. It's... However you like it. But I like it very... Like the bottom of it. Some people like it more crunchy like that. But it's however you like it. It's almost ready. Everyone's dying. Everyone's so hungry right now. Last look at the plate, guys. I can't really um, flip it because it has juice all over it, but oh my god, it is looking delicious. So I'm going to put the rice, el juguito, the little juice that my mom put on right now. 
so so good. Ready? Mm. Oh my god. So so good. And then the zucchini. Oh my god. This is such an easy dinner, guys. Like you guys will be obsessed with it. I can have this out good two to three times a week. Mm. Another broccoli. Mm. My mom usually makes this during Thanksgiving because it's like a kind of like a chicken, rice, such a good plate to bring to someone else's house for like potluck. Mm. Okay. All right, Max. How is it? Let me see Max's plate. Amazing. Added Ooh, a, this is Max's plate. You added a what? What's it called? Dumpling. What is it? Pot stick. Dumpling. It's a gyoza. Gyoza. Okay. Gyoza. Ooh, so good. Rice and, then, and sriracha, of course. Mm. This is one of Max's favorite because he can make it himself too, huh? All the time. I wish I could make it myself. <laughs> I don't think it comes out the same like my mom's does, but I'll try. Now that I have this video to watch, I think I can. Definitely nail it down. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining today. Let us know what other meals you guys want my mom to cook. She has so many of them. So if you guys see us on Instagram cooking, let us know that you guys want a tutorial because we will make literally everything she makes. I feel like these videos are such good memories to have to later look back on. So let me know which ones you guys want us to make. Again, a huge, huge thanks to Ritz Crackers for sponsoring today's video. Literally a dream come true. So thank you, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.